welcome. <laughs> um, could you maybe just sum up your topic, what you just talked about for our viewers? Okay. Uh, my topic was what's up, an illusion of um, an illusion of friendships among Kenyan young Kenyan adults. And what was the what was the result? Um, what was the conclusion you sort of came up with? All right, I, I found out that Kenyans, young Kenyans, because they are using WhatsApp to communicate as their main tool, they have this idea that they have a friendship between them, because it's so easy to communicate with one another, and you can communicate to so many people. So they seem to have this idea that because there are so many people that they are talking with via WhatsApp, they have so many friends. Well in real sense is that their group of friends is really small because this relationship is not being taken off from WhatsApp to face-to-face -to -face communication. And well, um, research has shown that if there's supposed to be a strong bond between two people, they should be able to communicate to one another and they should be able to share intimate details. While on WhatsApp, guys are not getting intimate which is an important factor in creating a strong relationship. So while they seem to believe that they have friends, in reality, this is just an illusion. There's really no friendship going on. Do you, do you see a problem personally in this kind of development? Yes, I do, I do. Actually, the reason why I decided to do this, it was because um, most of my friends are on WhatsApp. It took me quite a while to actually join WhatsApp because I'm, I'm not... Um, I'm a, I'm a social media strategist, so I am always using social media tools. So I tend to feel that for personal use, I should not then take it there because it's my day job. So it took me a while to actually start using WhatsApp. And when I did, I realized that with my very close friends, we stopped seeing each other. We stopped going for coffee dates, we stopped hanging out, and we tend to see each other less as time goes by. And when you ask each other what's going on, they're like, but we spoke yesterday. And when you're like, oh, we didn't talk, we, we chatted on WhatsApp. That's really not, I don't think that's the kind of friendship I want to have. And it's really affecting my friendships as well. So I wanted to see whether is this specific to just me or is it something that is happening with other people? And I find it's actually what is happening with most people. So so you made a sort of a kind of survey or um, how or how did you did you find out uh, that this problem is going on uh, I did a survey I did questionnaires I distributed questionnaires to people who use the application Okay okay wow that's really a really interesting topic it's nothing you sort of you sort of think about in everyday life oh, yes um, when I was talking to people, you know, everyone goes like, oh, by the way, that's actually, that's happening to me. But they don't seem to really know the effect up until you tell someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> same with me now. Um, so, and uh, now, uh, considering the conference, yes. um, how do you how do you like it here? What are your impressions up to now? Uh, I am quite impressed. It was quite, it was really well organized. Um, everything was ready, and uh, I really love it. And I love I love the exposure. I've been able to meet so many people from all over the world, and it feels so good to be here, especially as a student. It really feels so nice because there's so much. Um, it gives me so much confidence that now I can I can go to the next conference and, and now I'm aware that I can really, re I mean, research is interesting mm -hmm. and um, someone sees the value of what you've done. So it's I really, really appreciate it. So did you already meet interesting people? Uh, yes, I, I met the founder of the association. That was quite impressive. Uh, I've met lecturers from all over uh, so it feels nice that we are in the same um, conference with faculty member of faculty when you're a student it's it's quite an honor very nice and um, are you planning to listen to any specific topics any any special speakers here um, there was one about Egypt and um, how they are using social media tools to um, facilitate communication. I, mean, I think she was trying to find out how social media affected the, the chaos that was in Egypt. Oh, okay. um, I can't remember quite her name, but I am quite interested in seeing that. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time and uh, enjoy your stay here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, goodbye.